Alright guys, uh, welcome to Texas Station um, Casino for the Mojave Invitational, uh, May, I think it's what, 19th, 2013. Um, I am Aaron Fauché, um, and I'm pretty bored sitting here watching everybody, uh, so I figured I'd give you guys some extra bonus coverage of the early match play rounds of the uh, Mojave Invitational. Um, Stepping up now, just going, is uh, Thomas Newt, all the way from Washington. Um, left lane here is Derek Acuff um, from Arizona. So, should give you some good bonus coverage here of uh, a couple of their matches. Uh, Thomas is actually going up against Jacob Butcher. Uh, and currently, Thomas trails by 15 pins, fourth frame. Um, you see a pretty good shot there by Jacob. Um, this is the first round of the Mojave Invitational. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's a uh, triple elimination match play. Um, I believe Mark, or excuse me, again, on the left lane, it's uh, Derek Acuff again. He's bowling against Mark Myers. Uh, Derek, yesterday's champion, is a um, it was the four seed today, so 16 make the match play portion, and it's triple elimination from there. So um, things usually get pretty intense. If you haven't made one of the invitationals, definitely something to look forward to at the end of the year. Um, and this match on the left here with Acuff and Myers is a rematch of yesterday's uh, stepladder match, in which a Acuff beat Myers to move on and eventually win the title. Um, in that match between those two, as you see Mark trip the three forward, uh, looks like Myers is leading by five pins through four. Jacob going up to two seven, open, so that pretty much even things up in his match. Um, Myers, 13 seed, he was actually a leader after three games and went close to 80 down I think the the last couple of games he said he was having trouble with his spare ball and stuff but I and actually before I, I turned the uh, camera on he came back and said that these are a lot different from qualifying and that the, wow that looks like a pretty good shot thumbs up high he said that he said the front of the lane is hooking a lot more right now and the back ends are a lot tighter so it seems like something that's going to affect Myers a little bit more because I'm going against a left-hander here but um, in our other match on the on the right hand side of the camera you got two lefties and Newt and Butcher and actually oh wow as he almost spares a big four that opens going to about even things up in that match um, or actually Myers will be trailing by about 10 pins it looks like but Getting back to what I was saying, uh, between uh, Newt and Acuff and obviously Buttruff, you have probably three of the most talented lefties that JBT has to offer, so let's see what they can put together. Looks like a pretty good shot. Shakes the five pin out. So Newt with a big, big triple right there takes a 17 pin lead on Jacob. Good shot there by Derek. Wow. This weekend, Derek's probably throwing the ball as good as I've ever seen him throw it. Um, looks like he's using a Storm Lucid. Uh, I should have mentioned that the, the pattern they're bowling on, wow, pretty fortunate break there by Jacob. He flushed the last two on that lane, so I'm not sure what happened there. Um, they're bowling on 43 feet. Um, relatively high volume. Um, it was a Polish World Championship double shot or something. I don't, can't quite remember the exact name for it, but longer pattern. Um, so you see three lefties made the match play, but I don't think it was because there was a distinct lefty advantage. Jacob changes balls here. Pretty good shot right there, wow. Can't get that seven pin out. Um, a lot of people started to play it like a normal long pattern at the beginning, kind of closer to the track, even closer to the head pin, but 
Um, since, since it's only 43 feet, they didn't have that extra few feet of oil to give them any hold at the start, so that was a good shot right there. Good shot by Myers. So they didn't have the extra few feet of oil to give them that hold through the beginning, so you saw a lot of people crossing over, um, playing a little too far left at the beginning, so they took away their hold left, and obviously on a long pattern at the beginning, it's not gonna hook back when you miss right, so. What a lot of bowlers chose to do, especially the right-handers, is they moved out pretty close to, I'd say, first arrow, maybe a little left of it, probably between first and second arrow. Used stronger, smoother balls and, and just kind of slow rolled it, I guess. There's a little hook spot off the off the gutter out there, but another good shot. Wow. So Myers, Myers goes big forward, a bucket on that lane. Newt working on three in a row. He's a 2-4-7. Still leads by about 15. Myers needs the spare. Wow. Chops it. So Myers is going to be trailing by... Myers can throw the back five here for 204. Acuff can throw the back six for, let's see, 243, I believe? 263. So Acuff has a pretty big lead in this match on the left. I just saw Newt spare that 247 on the right hand side of the screen. Keeps the lead on Buttruff. Acuff working on three in a row. Pretty good shot. Checked up a little bit. Maybe he tugged that a little bit. I don't, I don't think he was playing playing that direct earlier shots. Thomas, 14 pin lead on Jacob. Looks right off his hand. Pretty fortunate only leave the 2-8, but not, not exactly the spare you want to shoot on a long pattern. Probably going to have to hook at it. Derek shooting 4-7. Hard and straight, covers up. So, looks like Acuff's gonna be up by <laughs> about 40 pins. Because Mark was so kind to help me out with the math. <laughs> um, gotta keep these videos short, so I'm gonna come back with part two here of these two matches, so go ahead and check it out.